I am in a dangerous mood, bored, and dramatic. If I just say something that makes Mr. Beast tweet about me. So I've opened my Instagram inbox for you guys to ask me some questions I would normally avoid. Pure undiluted juice is about to pour out of my mouth and into your ear hole. I feel like before I pluck up the courage to look at these, I need to go meditate. A nice soft focus. The hands and the arms on the legs. Any videos you regretted uploading. So ages ago, me and Dan did a spawn for a dating app. And part of it was they were gonna send this man to our house and talk about dates that we've been on using the app. And it was so bad because I was like, I'm very gay. I do not want to go on a date with a lady. And I was deep in the recesses of the closet on the internet. It was quite awkward. And in the end, I thought the best thing to do was just make it up. So I just had a long chat with a girl called Stephanie. It looks like we're going on a date tomorrow. Because I didn't want to go on a date with someone who I wasn't interested in. Because that wouldn't be fair on the girl. Just to be like, oh, I'm going to get some content out of you. So when the people came around, I just lied. I was like, yeah, had a great time with those girls. It <laughs> <laughs> was, we went to the cinema and might see her again, who knows? But when I was being interviewed in my head, I was just like, this is so cringy, I'm such a bad liar. Yeah, I should have been less of a yes man and just done things that I was more comfortable with. Have you ever had a one night stand? I think I'm a bit too much of a socially anxious person to just meet a stranger and then go back to their bedroom. But I guess I have chatted to someone for a little while, then gone on a little date and then woke up at that house. Would you ever drink pilk? <laughs> I would normally avoid this, because I don't want to try Pepsi milk, because that sounds disgusting. And I've had other milk-related adventures on this channel that I don't want to think about. I don't have any Pepsi, because it's inferior, unless you're at the cinema, but I do have some Coke Zero caffeine-free, <gasps> who's living his life on the edge. And then I don't drink real milk anymore, so I've got some Oatly Barista coat. Well, let's get buzzed on some pilk. Oh, oh, it's congealing already. These two things are not meant to mix together. The color and cloudiness of this, not inspiring me. Oh, <laughs> no, let's try it. All right, come on, down in pressure. Oh, oh, no, oh. No, oh, I thought it'd be like a Coke float. That is not like a Coke float. Oh. That is, that is rank. I detected that it might be bad, but that is wrong. Could be because I used oat milk, because that just doesn't go well. That was like drinking the bodily fluid of an alien. Or someone had rubbed some soil on a cola bottle and then dipped it in some gone off yogurt. No, stop it. Wasn't on a par with the cheese, but it was getting there. Ugh, la la. Have you ever hooked up with a fellow YouTuber? Oh, I would normally avoid that. Um, yes. I've seen a couple of rumors buzzing around the internet as well, and they are all incorrect. Are we including kissing? If we are, I would say three. Or maybe four. <laughs> that's, all, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Why haven't you and Dan started a podcast? I was thinking the other day, we live streamed so much when we're on you now. It was four years and pretty much every week of us doing a live show. And then we did stereo shows, which kind of reminded me again of how much I love it. So yeah, I would love to do something live again or a bit more chatty with Dan at some point because I just enjoy it a lot in my soul. Most embarrassing interaction with a worker in your house. We still have builders in our house. I don't know how it's possible, but it's happened. A lot of things were built nicely, but wrong. Like we found out they plumbed the bath with two cold taps. Isn't that the only thing a plumber has to get right with the bath? Anyway, I got a sponsored video request from a certain adult company and they specialize in silicone. <laughs> female bodies. I don't think they did their market research if they think I'm the target audience for this. Anyway, I opened it up when I was just looking at the website. My heart sunk when I forgot I'd left it on the IMAX screen. There was a builder working in the office for like an hour with just a whole page of sex dolls on my screen. <laughs> I'm still internally cringing so much. I can't even explain it, because how do you explain my job? It's gonna blank this out of my memory. And Dan has to talk to this builder for the rest of the time he's here. I'm all for enjoying yourself. I'm no prude. I would love a silicone realistic Thor with a wolf face, but he just didn't need to see that. But hey, maybe I influenced him and he got one. That'll be 15% commission, please. A YouTuber everyone likes, but you don't. I don't like Jacksepticeye or Mr. Beast. No, I'm kidding. I like Sean, he's great. And Mr. Beast, I've never met him. He seems a little bit too good to be true. Do you know like Mysterio? What's gonna happen at the end of all this? Is he gonna be president? I don't know. But if he's helping people and giving all his money to charity, then I'm not gonna kick him. What are your red flags? There's a filter for this, right? I don't wanna go to hell. Oh my God. <laughs> that was like a horrifying horror advert when I opened TikTok. What's his red flags? Right, here we go. Too many clothes. Yeah, my wardrobe is exploding actually. Messy, Dan would argue yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always tired. Not really. I mean, in the morning, I'm a bit useless for the first two hours of the day. But apart from that, I'm energetic. I think a lot of normies would find the fact that I'm a YouTuber might be <laughs> a red flag. Some people on here don't have the best reputation, but I'm trying to... 
<laughs> I'm trying to pave the way, guys. The other one's probably that I just don't close kitchen cupboards ever. There's some kind of disconnect. In my ideal universe, there's no doors on anything. Just leave them all open, except for maybe a toilet. Ass or feet. Honestly, a foot to me is one of the least sexual parts of the body. I'm good. They can stay in a sock for all I care. I'm sorry to the inhabitants of Wikifeet, but I'm glad you rate mine highly. What the f you can send pictures on this thing? That is, I'm scared now. <laughs> what else is gonna come in? Rate my cat. Beautiful fur ball. Looks very cozy on your corduroy carpet. I'm gonna give it a 12 out of 10. What is your favorite curse word? I say piss. It's not really a curse word, but I say piss a lot. Like something will go wrong and I'll just be like, oh, piss. That's piss. Maybe it's because that dog. I don't know. How is your mental health? So as you might have seen a few videos ago, I've been seeing a therapist, which has really helped my mental health, especially my health anxiety that I was having. Pretty much gone. And a few months ago, she actually recommended Headspace, which is the perfect sponsor for this video because it's something that I've actually been using and enjoying. So if you don't know, Headspace is an app that can help you chill out your brain, do some meditation, mindfulness. There's lots of sleep exercises, breath work. And I'd never tried any kind of meditation before using the app. And at first I was a bit like, I don't think this is gonna help someone just telling me to breathe and relax my mind. Oh my God, after 10 minutes of just lying on the grass and listening to a meditation exercise, I just felt so much of my anxiety chilling out. My brain felt less fuzzy and chaotic. I mean, it's always a bit chaotic, but it felt less chaotic. And this really helped me gain some perspective on my thoughts and also given me a tool when I am feeling a bit anxious, I can just do a meditation and then everything will chill out a bit. I've also been struggling to sleep a bit at the moment. I think I've just got loads of thoughts going on in my brain all the time. Not necessarily anxiety, just more busyness. So Headspace has got some meditation and breathing exercises to help you wind down. This one was great, Nighttime in Joshua Tree, because that just cast my mind back to my lovely Joshua Tree holiday. So even if you can't go to Joshua Tree, you can in Headspace. My mental health is never gonna be perfect, but I feel like I've got some great tools in place now with therapy and also mindfulness. And I don't know if you can tell, it's not just the haircut. <laughs> I am overall a bit happier. So Headspace have been really generous for you guys. If you wanna give it a go, you can get a 60 day completely free trial if you click the link below or you can scan this QR code on the screen. I'll leave it up for a second, pause this, give it a scan. It might just give you a little brain massage <laughs> that you were needing. Is Dil Houter still alive? Good news, I checked the save file on the old PC and everything is still working. So then the question is, if you do not open a save file in the woods, does the sim still live? But hair, yes or no? I'm not a generally very hairy person, but I was thinking of making a tutorial like Kevin Leonardo. That might be my next video. Least favorite Danifel Games video. I saw so many people talking about the Google Feud video and asking if we were high or on something. Sorry to disappoint you, we were not on drugs. I think you were just seeing a window of what me and Dan are truly like when it is midnight, sleep deprived, and very hungry. <laughs> oh, it's very drinking. Hi. Bye. She says you're an idiot. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Did you enjoy that one cigarette that he smoked that one time? He got very drunk until 3 a.m. He got with a girl and he smoked a cigarette! Oh my god. Wow, we're really bringing that up again. No, not really. It just made my lungs burn. I coughed a lot and then felt ashamed. Tell us a controversial opinion. All right, three things I find overrated. Orange juice in all forms. It's mid. Five guys, great that they pour loads of fries on everything, but in general, I think there's a lot better burgers out there. And Wagamama Katsu Curry. I don't know why everyone orders that. It just tastes like gravy on rice. Don't love it. Just lost three sponsorships there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can you talk a little about the business side of your work? Sure, so at the moment, YouTube is my biggest slice of the pie. You might have noticed some creators are doing a lot more sponsorship deals and stuff at the moment. And that's because the ad revenues of YouTube can do this and you never know if it's gonna be a good month or a less good month. I tried some TikToks, which is more of a fun decision than a business decision. So today on TikTok, I earned £1.47. And the day I went viral and got about 4 million views, I earned £20.07. So if this was like my only source of income, I would not be making a living on TikTok. And I think for creators that are not live streaming and making long form content, YouTube is still the best place. But I think YouTubers are gonna need to boost things with memberships or Patreon, or to take more sponsorships just to kind of make a living that is worth sticking around and doing this as a job. I'm currently also in a thumbnail testing pilot so they can send out three different thumbnails for one video and see which one you guys interact with the most. So this video might have a different thumbnail for you compared to someone else, which is a feature I've been dying to get because I'm so indecisive with thumbnails. I always change my mind <laughs> straight after I've uploaded. Show us the fit chin. We're still waiting for the house to be finished before we decide if we're gonna do some kind of tour, but here's a little sneaky. Was there any merch you made you didn't like? I think we shouldn't have put the hair in the boobula area. It was a cool design. But maybe they should have been in the middle, like stacked on top of each other. But they did look a bit like... 
<laughs> boob eyebrows. Like a lot of it I would unironically wear today because I think we made some amazing stuff. I still use the Dan and Phil backpack. What is your demographic? Oh, okay. So my audience interests are 30 minute chefs. <laughs> That's the highest thing. I would not have expected that from you guys, but sure. Light TV viewers, Indian alternative rock fans, sci-fi movie fans, and role playing game fans. Looks like you're all a bunch of nerds, just like me. Uh, I hope this wasn't actually in pain. That <laughs> <laughs> Show hole. Seems some of you have not been watching my whole of the week series on TikTok. Here is the Murney mine. It is deep. How did people in your real life react to you being famous? I don't really like the word famous. Generally, close friends were really cool. Acquaintances got a bit annoying. I'd get hit up by people from high school that I've never spoken to being like, hey, we were such good friends. Can you promote my mum's business on your YouTube channel? Or hey, it's been so long. I'm just wondering if you tweet about this. And I was just like, I was never friends with any of you. Stop pretending you liked me after the fact. Is Lion LGBT? Yeah, he is bisexual, but happily married to a lioness. Last time you watched your belly button. My belly button is strangely deep. So <laughs> I make sure to get some like foamy water and just kind of slam it in there. Just to make sure. Everything's good. What are your thoughts on the toxic gossip train? Honestly, I don't know what any of the drama was But I did watch the video and I'm annoyed that it did stick in my head But so whatever was going on there. It was a bit of an earworm. Are you a bit of a slag Phil? Uh, no, the thing is like I said, I'm too socially anxious to be a slag I need to get to know people a little bit before I'm slagging around so <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. How many Uno cards can you fit up your butt? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Um, if we're thinking about this scientifically, can we roll them all together into some kind <laughs> of... No. <laughs> I've got a level. No, I said I'd have to answer it. I think if you had a rolling technique, you could probably get them into some kind of cylindrical situation. I think if we're not rolling the cards, I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a severe paper cut risk, so probably none. Wow, okay, I feel like I need to meditate again now after that. Thanks, guys. Whether we think we're the best in the world or the worst in the world, both are a concept of the mind. Thank you for all of those unhinged questions. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ding the bell. 35% of you have done it. Where's the rest? Get that bell dinging. And thank you to Headspace for sponsoring this video. If you want to check it out, link below. Give some meditation a try. 60 days free on me. Check out my last video. I returned to Pickle Island in Animal Crossing and Phil got a boyfriend. It was a whole thing. Subscribe, have a lovely day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.